Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going to review this OnePlus uh, Oxygen OS ROM on the K20 Pro. I have the red version here. And you can see I'm booting it up right now. Something I noticed that while booting up, the uh, pop-up camera pops up. But afterwards, some tweaks were given on the XDA forum. Uh, they were in the comment section, so I saw it from there and its solution has been provided now. So after OnePlus boot animation, we can see that the phone has started and I have put in a, a, a pattern lock here. And you can see that it is a little buggy and you can already see that the pop-up camera has now went back. You can see the notification uh, bar hit there and this is the home screen. It looks quite okay, -ish. it looks clean and I like it. Uh, we can also see the never settle uh, widget there. Uh, let me just... Okay, so we are back and we can see that uh, the notification bar there. And it is actually buggy in the sense that you cannot change the data from SIM 2 to SIM 1. So I just found it out. Uh, here is the settings and the Wi-Fi section. You can see that uh, Volti and all the calling is working. I tried it myself. Bluetooth and all of the other devices uh, are working. You can see it is a little slow and buggy but uh, it works smoothly most of the time. Then we go to the display settings, the adaptive brightness that is the auto brightness works. Let me just get the brightness up again and everything else works here and uh, you can see the screen calibration here. You can go to sRGB mode and P3 color gamut and everything. Everything works fine in that sense. You can see the uh, refresh rate panel, but you cannot change the refresh rate, of course, from there. Uh, other things is that night mode, night mode works. Reading mode also works. You can have two chromatic effect and the mono effect. And they both work fine. Video enhancer, I haven't used it anywhere, but it seems like a cool thing. If it works, it's a great add-on. Ambient display is there and it does work but I, but it seems a little buggy for me because you can see it just doesn't work in the first time. But yeah, this time it did. So it's like that. So that is about ambient display. Next is the status bar and all. Uh, nothing fancy in there. We also have a screen saver. We also have auto rotate of the screen. It does work. <laughs> I don't know if in the settings it wouldn't work right. Let's go back and you can see customization. This is the best panel there. We can see the theme section in there. We can even change it. This is the dark theme. We can even see that the status icons have been changed there. It is also the option in the customization panel. I will show it to you in just a minute. There uh, we can change the accent color from a red color. We can choose any of the color that we want. Other thing is you can see that the red color is working. You can choose from any of the presets. Next thing is the tone of the color we can choose it from colorful to everything you can see that it has changed right now here is the shape of the status icons and it looks good you can change it in that sense you can also change the icon packs and also the fonts in there the oneplus uh, never settle font is there so you can use it customization we saw next is sound and vibration and you can see the volume is okay the sound works so that is great. We also have Dolby Atmos written in there. I don't know. I haven't checked it. Buttons and gestures. You can see we have the same old back home and recent gestures. They are not that cool, but they work. Here you also saw the peak of the recent panels there. It looks really like the OnePlus new launcher. But now we will go back to the gestures. That is the Android 10 gestures. Buttons and gestures, yeah, that we saw already. Apps and notifications, there is nothing more. Security in that fingerprint sensor does not work. Let me just show it to you. Yeah, so yeah, you can see also the it is misplaced. Face unlock actually works, right? But uh, it doesn't work that great because you have to change the camera manually. Also, there is hard settings in there and this is from the developer 
and we have all these things i don't know i don't use them but i'll just show you you can pause the screen there and check them out from the system we can see we also have the system update but whenever you click on it it just force closes so i will not do it again about phone device you can see it shows nothing in the device name but yeah here we have android 10 oxygen os it says 10.3.2 so that is it for the video. You can see the camera is working. You can see the camera is shut down. The pop-up camera is shut it down. To make it work, you can use uh, the trick that is given in the module. That is, you can push the power button for long enough and the pop and the pop-up camera will just pop up. And then you can use the front camera. But you have to manually put it down too. So yeah, that is it. This is what I am using macro droid. You can also have a preset in there. You can see the developer gave the preset there, I guess, because I found them in the XTA forum. I don't know if any of the Google Pay or that and those apps work. I don't think that this ROM should be used as the daily driver because of the front camera pop up issues because they actually the motor is running really weird every time but that is that for this video guys if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and thumbs up uh, i will try to get more videos soon just message me in the comments below peace